Mr. Tony Hutchinson, CK5, ZA, or your moderator for today. Through the help of amateur radio volunteers and the crew on the ISS, we soon hope to establish radio contact with the International Space Station as it flies more than 350 kilometres above the Earth over the Goddard Space Flight Centre in Maryland, Steve. USA. This is all accomplished with Aris, amateur radio on the International Space Station. The ISS is currently flying over British Columbia in Canada, moving along at around 27,000 kilometres per hour. The contact today will be performed using the Aris Telebridge Network, a worldwide network of amateur radio ground stations that enables students to contact the ISS. The audio for today's contact will also be available live around the world via the amateur radio Echo Link Network, handled by Graham. G7EVY in Lancashire, United Kingdom. Thanks, Graham. The amateur radio ground station that was back in contact with the ISS today is K6DUE, located at the Goddard Space Flight Centre in Maryland, operated by Dave Taylor, WHAAS, and assisted by Mark Steiner, K3MS, and Bernie Hahn, M6ZOA. And I believe they have uh, a few extras there as well. Thanks for helping us out today, guys. Thank you, Tony. We're glad to be here. Uh, we now have around about four minutes to go. Uh, Alex, those are students from the Hobart Primary School in Hobart, Tasmania. Now, let's check in with the school. We've asked their teachers, Dallas Honoree, please tell us about the school and students that are taking part today. Thanks, Dallas. G'day there, everybody. I'd like to, take, to tell you a few things about South Hobart Primary School. It's located in the small city of Hobart, and it's Australia's second oldest city. The school began operations in uh, 1858, when it was called the Upper Macquarie Street School. The physical setting is dominated by Mount Wellington, which at the moment is covered in snow, and the historic uh, Hobart Rivulet runs along the school's western boundary. South Hobart School caters for students from kindergarten uh, to grade six, with an age range from 5 to 12. The school has 12 cla uh, 10 classes sorry, and about 250 students and the numbers are growing. The students who attend the school come mainly from the suburb of South Hobart as well as the communities of Fern Tree and Ridgeway. Besides talking to astronauts, the students at South Hobart are involved in many school-based activities such as the chess club, inter-school sports, Scottish country dancing, we have a very active uh, school choir and uh, Science Week in Australia has just finished and it was recognised by all classes learning about biodiversity and sustainability. And it's our school's goal to nurture students, promote a positive attitude to life and learning and to develop skills that will enable children to be active participants in the community for both the now and the future. Over. Just coming into range.
Marie, Russian astronaut, my cosmonaut. And uh, we can hold a little bit more, but it's, it's, it's comfortable to do the science and to live in space with about six people on board the space station. Over. Hi, it's Gabe here. Is the issue of space junk a concern, and how does the ISS steer to avoid it? Over. Cheer for the, the astronauts. Big cheer, everyone. Big cheer. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 